हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑन मटेरियल डिजाइन थ्री विद जेटपैक कंपोज टुडे वी आर डाइविंग इनटू अ क्रूशियल कंपोनेंट दैट नॉट ओनली एनहांसेस यूजर इंटरेक्शन बट आल्सो ड्रॉज अटेंशन टू असेंशियल एक्शंस द बॉटम एप बार द बॉटम एप बार इज टिपिकली लोकेटेड एट द बॉटम ऑफ योर स्क्रीन इट कैन होस्ट अप टू फोर आइकन बटन and a floating action button enabling quick access to the main function of your app the layout and contents of a bottom app bar can change according to the different screens of your app providing a dynamic and flexible user interface it's essential to remember the primary function of your bottom app bar while navigation bars are designed to provide access to various destinations within an app a bottom app bar does so much more it not only provides access to different areas of your app but also houses various actions providing a rich interactive user experience before moving forward let's have a brief look at scaffold the scaffold is a top level component in jetpack compose that provides a framework to implement the basic material design layout structure it provides slots for a navigation bar a floating action button a drawer and other user interface components a scaffold manages the layout of these components for you so you don't have to worry about how the fab should move when a snack bar appears or how the drawer should animate on screen Let's go ahead and jump into our Android Studio. So here let's create a new file. So here let's use this bottom app bar composable function which comes with the material 3 library. So let's remove these parentheses and here let's use action parameter so here we have this row scope so in this row scope we can provide all our actions we can use up to four actions so let's use an icon button and let's copy this icon button and paste it three more times and other than this action parameter we have this floating action button parameter so we can also provide a floating action button in this bottom app bar so let's use a floating action button in this floating action button let's take an add icon let's use and also we need to provide two more parameters because we are using this floating action button in a bottom app bar so we need to provide the elevations because the default ones are not for this bottom app bar bottom app bar elevation so with the help of this function it will give some elevation according to this bottom app bar and we also need to provide the container color so now let's use our bottom app bar in an scaffold so let's create one more composable function and here let's take a scaffold and in this scaffold we have this parameter called bottom bar so here let's use our bottom app bar composable function and in these parentheses we will provide our content of this scaffold
सो नाउ लेट्स यूज अवर कंपोजिबल फंक्शन इन अवर मेन एक्टिविटी एंड लेट्स रन अवर एप एंड सी दिस सो हेयर वी कैन सी दिस इज अवर बॉटम एप बार विथ फ्लोटिंग एक्शन बटन सो वेन वी स्क्रोल डाउन हेयर वी कैन सी दिस इज अवर बॉटम एप बार लेट्स चेंज द थीम टू डार्क मोड सो हेयर वी कैन सी अवर बॉटम बार इज स्टिल लुकिंग गुड इन अवर डार्क मोड सो लेट्स मिनिमाइज दिस एंड लेट्स गो बैक टू अवर फाइल so here let's press control b so here is our documentation of this bottom app bar so in this bottom app bar we can also provide this con container color and content color and you can read more about this bottom app bar in this documentation so let's close this and that's it for today's lesson on bottom app bars in material 3 with jetpack compose As you can see it's incredible easy to set up and customize I hope you found this tutorial useful if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below see you in the next video happy coding